In this uh, video, I will explain how to do a multi-level analysis using WarPLS. And in this multi-level analysis, I have data that has been collected on a number of indicators which are related to three main latent variables. So TU is technology use, uh, ED is the level of education, and PS is problem solving ability of employees. And uh, I want to uh, assess the impact or the effect that these three latent variables have on JP, which is job performance, for which I have five indicators. In this data, is a multi-level data because I collected the data in three companies, three types of companies. One was a farming company, the other was a manufacturing company, and the third was a technology company. And this allowed me to collect 300 uh, data points. Uh, so I collected data from three different companies on the same, using the same questionnaire. This is uh, referred to as uh, multi-level data and the analysis would be a multi-level analysis. Note that by having company from three different companies, um, I am able to have a larger sample size than I would have if I considered only one company but the problem that I have here is um, I need to control for the effect that being from a country will a company will have on uh, the uh, links, the paths uh, in my model. As a first step, what I'll do is I will separate the uh, text data from the numeric data. So the text data is stored here as label data in the numeric data in a separate uh, worksheet, the first worksheet in my workbook. And now I'm going to read this data into uh, War PLS. So I uh, read my data set here. If I go to data, view and save, raw indicator data, I can see the data that I read here. That's the numeric data. Let me input the uh, categorical data which refers to the three organizations or the label data. So I'm going to copy the contents of this column and I'm going to go to the option add data labels from clipboard click OK Here's my label data. I will click on finish. Okay, it seems like the data was read properly. And so now I have my labels entered. They are here, so they refer to the type of organization, farming, uh, manufacturing, or tech. Now I'm going to create my model. So this is my model and as you can see we have five indicators selected for each one of the latent variables and I have this is technology use, education or the level of the education of the person and uh, problem solving skills all pointing at job performance. Now since I um, since I uh, I collected data from different organizations. I have to ask myself, for each endogenous variable in my model, I will hide the indicators. So for each endogenous variable in my model, and this model has only one, I have to ask myself, does the coming from a particular organization likely to have influenced any of the predictors? of that endogenous variable. So I have only one endogenous variable here. So is being part of a manufacturing, farming, or technical or technology organization influence technology use, uh, educational level, and problem solving skills? 
and uh, I have reasons to believe that it does and it influences each one of them so I need to add things to my model so what I'm going to do is first save this model and I'm going to run this analysis as a linear analysis and leave the alta model analysis algorithm as PLS regression the default so I'm going to run my analysis now so I have my results here but these results do not control for uh, being part of a particular uh, company so this is not a truly a multi-level analysis in order to do a multi-level analysis what I'll have to do is to create a uh, instrumental variable that will allow me to control for those uh, multi-level effects and this instrumental variable, in fact, will be a um, based on the categorical variable that I uh, uh, have in the model. So I'm going to go to Explore, uh, Categorical to Numeric to Categorical Conversion. And I'm going to use the option categoric to numeric and here I have only one categorical variable I'm going to choose it and right here you can see that the categorical variable is seems to be correlated with the predictors education level technology use and uh, problem-solving skills this one does not really matter for this particular uh, type of uh, uh, analysis and I'm going to use the option anchor ver ver factorial with variation diffusion which is the option I use when I want to control for uh, a particular variable in this case company membership which has three categories as we notice uh, uh, with respect to my endogenous variable which is in this case uh, job performance I have only one in my model so I'm gonna choose this option I'm gonna choose these three uh, variables and I'm gonna keep the same sign this is the sign uh, of uh, the relationship between them and uh, company membership I'll just keep the same sign for the three of them since since they seem to be uh, moving in the same direction uh, if I had uh, lack of problem solving skills I might choose the negative sign but since I have problem solving uh, it should be correlated with technology use and education level so I'll create a numeric variable which will be called this name here in my model now I will close out of here and I'll go to my model I'll create a new latent variable which will be a control variable and it will be this company membership which defines group membership I'll create a direct link so this is going to be a control variable which allows me to control for company membership I'll save my model with the same settings as before and I'll redo my analysis so now we have coefficients that are similar to what we had before as we can see here controlling for uh, mem uh, uh, company membership uh, does uh, influence somewhat these coefficients which is what I wanted to do but it's not a very strong effect which is usually what one finds in these cases so this is how one conducts a multi-group a multi-level I'm sorry multi-level analysis uh, in war PLS so this has to be done this procedure that I just described has to be done for each endogenous variable in the model and for each case I have to ask myself what company membership in this case 
whether, I'm sorry, company membership has any effect on the predictors for each uh, endogenous variable. And if we have more than uh, one type of uh, a group membership here, we have to create one uh, control variable for each one of those. So for example, if I had gender, uh, if I had uh, other type of group membership um, in my data set, I would have to create uh, variables using the same procedure for each one of them. And this concludes this demo.